Viewing other calendars. On the Home tab, there's an option called Manage Calendars. Here you'll see that you can have calendar groups and you can open other calendars. Clicking on Open Other Calendars, you can see here that you can go and open calendars from an address book, from a room list, from the internet, or you can go and open a calendar that has been shared with you. Here I'm going to choose from an address book. The address book that it gives me is the global address book. I can choose one of these calendars, press the calendar button and then press OK. Down here on the bottom of my navigation pane I can now see the calendar called Student 1. On my screen here I can see Student 1's calendar as well as my own. Currently they're side by side and I'm able to see when and where student 1 has appointments. Beside the calendar name you'll see an arrow. Clicking on this arrow will allow what's known as the overlay mode, meaning now the two calendars can be seen one on top of the other so that I could see if there were days where both calendars were free. Clicking on the arrow to the right will now allow me separate the two calendars again. Down in the navigation pane I can turn off the calendar, but it's still here in the list so I can click to turn it back on again. Right mouse clicking allows me to delete the calendar. I'm only deleting the calendar from my view, I'm not deleting the calendar in total. So coming back up again to open calendar from address book, you can choose as many of the people in your address book as you like and so long as they're all on the same Microsoft Exchange server you will be able to view their calendars. If you change the arrangement up here on the top it changes it automatically for all of the calendars that you're viewing. As I go down the list I can now see the extra calendars that I've turned on and when I right click on shared calendars I can see that this is now a group of calendars that I can delete. Clicking on calendar groups I can go and create a new calendar group and all I'm doing is creating a name for a heading and then selecting calendars that I'd like to put underneath that heading.